Hey everybody, it's Joy. Hello to returning friends and welcome if you are new. If you enjoy today's video, let me know by hitting that like button or leaving me a comment. If you'd like to enjoy more of my videos, please subscribe and ring that little bell. Now on to today's video. Hey everybody, it's Joy. Welcome back. And here we are, another landscape, your city. And thank you for everyone who participated in the poll, but the theater won out and I'm so excited. This will be a fun asset to detail around. So I've gone ahead and done um, 640 by 600 here with just the plain uh, road. And at the back of this asset, there is a parking lot. So I like to use move it to pull it back to the road. It will still show connected. And that way it kind of makes more sense with the parking there. The other thing is on each side of the theater, there are these little side doors. So I like to use walking paths to just kind of highlight that and make use of that entrance in a way so i think it's nice if you can whenever you place down an asset if you can kind of just take a look at it and really pay attention to where the parking is where there might be additional doors and entrances things like that so that's always really helpful okay so i'm gonna do the same on the other side is bring this path through and if you guys don't know who um, City by Steven is, such a great channel, but he's the one who really got me to start paying attention to where the parking is on certain assets because sometimes it really doesn't make sense where they put them because it's like not where it needs to attach the road, but that is what it is. So I love putting the Plaza of Life and Death alongside this theater it's the same texture i also just think it's a nice size plaza it fits perfectly and i do like the the statue that's there of the angel so then i've got these great parking lots that larry skylines designed for me i'll make sure to link him down below so you can grab him and so i'm just using move it here to get these in place where i want them These are so cute. I really like these little parking lots. And it's also just the good fortune that they are the same texture here. So that's gonna end up working really nicely. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take a path and bring this around. And then we are going to do some fencing and bring in some trees. Yes, I like this very much. This is really cute. Okay, let me do the same thing on the other side and then we'll move on to the grounds of the theater. So on this front entrance of the building, I'm gonna pull through this fencing and then add a few trees 
and some flowers to the front here to fix that. There we go. And again, just using fencing, a little bit of landscaping, just gives a place a little bit more importance. Just helps pull it together, makes it feel a little bit cleaner. So I really like how this turns out. So I just do three in the front in between the trees and it just kind of defines that main entrance into the theater across from the parking. Okay, so I love how this area turns out, which you guys see. So I use the um, circular, circular tool and I use the rocks. And then what I do is I pull through a gravel pathway and then I delete one of the rocks on either side and then I pull the pathway through and add the gazebo. It's so cute. It turns out really nice. And I just love the aesthetic of this. It's very much secret garden vibes, which I love. Okay, now we're on to the other side. I'm gonna pull through some more parking. Again, these are parking lots from Larry Skylines. They will be linked below in the description. And then I decided I wanted to pull through the park cafe. So I did paint a park area over this and just kind of make an outdoor cafe next to the theater. I love this. And just using Find It, you can search for Whatever assets you pull in, you can search for the same um, type of table and bring that through and it just creates some continuity that I really enjoy. Okay, and the last little spot here, I just decided to pull through a little walking path and we will landscape this with trees and flowers and bushes and just make it feel, I don't know, like a really pretty spot to walk through either after or before the theater. And who knows, maybe sometimes um, people can rent out this space. We have a little wedding ceremony or something. Could be, could be a cute little garden. All right guys, and there you have it. Here is an idea or a few ideas on how you could really bring some more importance um, to this theater asset. Just make it be a little bit more 
filled out. I love taking assets like this and landscaping and detailing around them. So make sure you comment below and let me know what you'd like me to do next on the Landscape Your City series, whether it be an asset or if you want me to build something for you, let me know. I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.